Hello everyone, Rodney Dangerfield Cousin coming to you live via webcam from my parody entertainment show and Trayvon Martin, a 17 year old boy and George Zipperman is making my show today along with some other racial blacks who have through a spin-off. Every, every little thing has a side effect and um, there was a black man in uh, Chicago, Illinois named Elton Hayes. He was 18 years old. He robbed a white man and beat him and he told the police that he did that as a payback for what George Zimmerman did to Trayvon Martin and uh, the police have charged this 18 year old black man with a hate crime and some more blacks in uh, Mobile, uh, Atlanta. They beat a white man and said, uh, now that's justice for Trayvon Martin. They whooped him, beat him real bad and they was chanting, that's justice for Trayvon, and uh, uh, George Zimmerman is as innocent as they come. And now, you're going to hear the rest of the story after I tell you my disclaimer. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty, and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty. And everything in my parody entertainment show is a parody. It's all science fiction. It's all make-believe. Do not take anything I say seriously. Do not take anything I say personal. Do not try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first and then still don't do it. I am a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. And everything in my parody entertainment show is make-believe and everything I say cannot be verified. If for some reason you disagree with my disclaimer, now is the time to get your happy ass off my channel immediately. I don't want you to hear a thing I got to say. Now it's been well known to me that blacks have a real serious mental problem. Uh, they hold you white people responsible for what happened 500 years ago. And uh, I'm 64 years old. I wasn't even born there. Even if there's a white man that's 120 years old, he wasn't even born. Uh, the children, George Zimmerman, he's 28 years old. He wasn't even born then. There's a black man went in a lady's clothing store in Chicago, Illinois in 2008 and shot six ladies in the back of the head and one of them lived and they drew a composite of him. He's got jerry curls in his hair, beads. Uh, I don't think they caught him yet. He, they may have. I'm not sure I followed up on it. But you white people, you don't hold all black people responsible for what this one black man did. We'd like to catch this black man and either electrocute him or give him uh, 250 years in the penitentiary. We, we'd like to catch him, but uh, we, we don't hold, you white people, you don't hold all black people responsible for that. But black people have a serious mental condition that they hold you white people responsible for what happened 500 years ago, and you are as innocent as they come. Now this George Zimmerman, he is as innocent as they come, and the news keeps portraying Trayvon Martin as a 17-year-old boy that's unarmed, and they've edited the 911 tape, they've edited it, and uh, that's why the police, if they're whooping a white man or a black man, if somebody comes up and starts filming them, they, they say they've made a law against it because you don't know what the white man or the black man has done to provoke the police into whipping them. You know, you don't know what they've done. 
and uh, that's they, that's why they say, uh, you know, they they if if somebody could film them from start to finish, and they could see the whole tape, then the police may say, okay, you can do that, but you can't just film one part of the situation because you the tape has been edited. Now, the the news, the white devil news, has edited that tape of George. Zimmerman, he said that this Trayvon Martin was coming over to check him out. Then he said he's running. He didn't say he was running away from him. He was running towards him to bust him in his racist ass nose. And George Zimmerman needs a real good attorney like F. Lee Bailey. He, he needs a real good attorney. And, of course, he don't have one. I think his attorney, from what I can see, he might beat the case. I thought Casey Anthony's attorney was a joke. They were terrible lawyers, but some kind of way they won the case. I commend them for doing it, but I think, I think, <laughs> I think they were terrible lawyers as well. But... Anyways, a, you, George Zimmerman needs, needs an attorney like F. Lee Bailey, a racehorse attorney called Racehorse Haynes. Uh, I don't know either one of them. I've never met them, never talked to them. I've seen attorney F. Lee Bailey on television representing O.J. Simpson, and he did a great job for running that ad in the newspaper. said, if anybody has any evidence to prove my client O.J. Simpson is innocent, I'll give you $150,000 and somebody come forward and said Mark Furman is racist. He uses a racial slur. And when F. Lee Bailey got him on the stand, he said, Mark Furman, have you ever addressed an African-American? I'm going to use the word nickel for what he said. I'm not going to say the racial slur he said or the racial slur that black people call each other, but I'm going to use the word nickel. And... Uh, F. Lee Bailey said, Mark Furman, have you ever addressed an African American as a word nickel? And uh, Mark Furman thought for a second. He said, shit, they taught me to lie. And the police academy said, we can lie, but if the subject suspect lies to us, we can lock him up. So shit, he just started lying his ass off. And anyways, F. Lee Bailey you know, I think that was one of the critical points that beat the case for O.J. Simpson. But anyways, this uh, George Zimmerman, he needs to hire a real good lawyer that will interrogate everybody involved in the case. Trayvon Martin's girlfriend and uh, uh, you know his girlfriend, his mother, his daddy, all the people in his household. I think Trayvon Martin was a gang member. They need to ask his girlfriend, was he a gang member? Was he stealing this gold? Did he give you some stolen gold? Did he tell you it was stolen? Did he say, I robbed the white men, I steal from the white men, I hate the white men. Did he talk ghetto talk or did he talk uh, politically correct language? Uh, I don't believe there's any African American living even your jello pudding Bill Cosby with all his degrees, he talks ghetto language. He says the nickel word. Your Dave Chappelle, with all his education, he, he calls African Americans a nickel. My nickel, get off my porch! My nickel, my nickel, get off my porch! Get off my goddamn porch, nickel! And uh, Chris Rock, he said... I hate blacks, I hate whites, I hate everybody! Chris Rock hates everybody! And um, I talked to a black woman at the bank, and she said, everybody hates everybody. We white people, we're not haters, we're good people. We just want to love each other. It's, it's a race of the blacks always attacking, always attacking. If anybody has any criticism, comments, or anything about my show, if you think George Zimmerman is innocent, if you have some ideas to prove he's innocent, type it under my show. If you think he needs to be put in prison for life, tell me why. That's a wrap for the day.